What's up, everybody? It's Agent KK here, back with an all-new episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. It's been quite a long time, and as you can see, some things have changed. Like, for instance, I'm no longer recording out of a shelf. That's what I've been doing these last eight months, <laughs> is trying to figure out how to not record in a shelf. I haven't told many people about this. I think I told one person, <laughs> and that person helped me greatly, so... Thank you so much, um, lovely, lovely human, you know who you are, but I can't say your name on here because I've, uh, I've got something against revealing people's names online, except for my cousins, apparently. <laughs> um, anyway, so, I figured out, in trying to play this part, that this road down here not useful for, to us. It's just an expanse of water ahead, so fighting these twins is completely useless right now. I'll get to them later. Uh, this lady, I can't remember what she does. <laughs> oh, she just talks about aromatherapy. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, some things that I don't know if I discussed in the last episode. This house over here, it's called the Trick House. It's pretty fun. You can go in and, uh, find the guy, then kill kill the guy's Pokemon. Uh, fun. <laughs> this lady, she has a Minin and a Plusle. If you talk to her, she will battle you, because I guess we've battled her in the past. And they have Oran Berries, so that's fun. Cycle, sh cycle road over here. Can't go down, because we don't have a bike. That's also fun. And down here is the town where we did a bunch of um, what's it called? Ooh! Hold up. Okay. So, apparently, I have no idea how to freaking... What's it called? Uh, sneak. So, hold up. I might have to change up some settings. <laughs> One moment. Alright, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, I got it set up so now I can actually sneak around. And... let's see. Wow! I can actually use my bag! See, that was another problem I had while recording. I couldn't use my bag. It would immediately go down to the very bottom of it. And... Well! Guess who just screwed up her bag again? Oh lord. <laughs> Why? Yes, <laughs> this is how I will use my bag from now on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's messed up. Darn it. Alright, so that was fun, <laughs> trying to figure that out. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it does that sometimes. I can't use my bag at times. Other times I can use it perfectly fine. Uh, if I really just want to use it, I guess I can use the touch screen, which works just as well. <laughs> but... I mean, I didn't expect that to happen. This is just really inconvenient. Anyway... <laughs> let's get on with this, shall we? So, where we left off... I was trying to get to the next city. I'd been having some trouble. I'm not entirely sure why. This clearly leads the other way. Why I tried going that way, I'm not sure. Anyway, this lady looks like a freaking onion. Look at her. She's an onion! <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, over here, you've got your standard selection of Pokemon. It's a lot of, uh, Minins and Electrikes. So if you want Minins and Electrikes, go for it. That over there, I believe, is a, mi is a Minin. I forgot the, what the A button was for a bit. I think I have a problem. <laughs> The problem is that I'm using an Xbox controller for this emulator, which I'm using in lieu of an actual 3DS since I couldn't get mine to hook up to my computer properly. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo! You guys make things so hard. Oh god, darn it. Woo. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Youngster Timmy, you picked on the wrong person. Alright. Let's go, boys! And I mean the boys in my team, because most, um, most if not all of my Pokemon are male. <laughs> That's usually the case with my Pokemon, actually. I generally have male Pokemon, and it's kind of crazy, in a way. Oh 
Hold up. Hey, sorry, I had to go say hello to my family. They just came home. And Blaze one-shotted the Pokemon. I'm not even sure what it was anymore, but he grew to level 23, so that's what matters to me. Alright, so... Ooh, an Aaron. That's cool. Uh, just a question. Do you guys call it Aaron or Aaron? <laughs> Or iron, <laughs> or iron, iron. How do you pronounce that? Because I know it's similar to iron. I'm really confused as to how to pronounce this. <laughs> Pokemon, Nintendo, help me, <laughs> please. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep out. Um, Blaze. I've never actually fought. Youngster Timmy in all of my times playing this version of the, uh, this episode of the Let's Play. Of all the times I tried playing through, I did not fight Timmy. Couldn't think of the words there. Anyway. Um. So yeah, I'm, I, it's just very strange to me. I've never seen his Pokemon before, and I was not prepared for this at all. I was really just hoping to go towards that Pokemon over there, but instead I clicked A instead of just walking into it. Because apparently I forgot how to go up to those things again. Uh, I'm not going to use double team. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I don't use status moves. I don't know if I've ever noticed, I've ever mentioned be that before, but I don't use status moves at all, even though I know that they're really helpful. It's just that I'm not a very strategic person when it comes to Pokemon. I just enjoy playing the game for what it is, as that is how I played it as a child, compared to my cousin, who is way better at deciding on move sets and things like that, even though he's 11. I go to him for all strategies if I ever need help, so <laughs> he's much better at this game than I am, but we both enjoy it just as much, so to each his own. Anyway, ooh, Electric. If I'm not mistaken, I'll only get normal damage if I use fire on this. Oof. So, do we have any ground types? No, we don't. Oh my god, why do we not have ground types? This is sad. Oh yeah, another thing that I did a lot whenever I was playing through this version of the game, I would constantly change it so that way I would have... Or, no, I would go into the town that we were in the last episode and I would go heal my Pokemon. That's what I did. <laughs> this version I'm not doing that so much. In case you're wondering about the file that I'm using on this emu emulator. Yes, it is the exact same file that I used on my DS. I just transferred it over using my hacking skills, but I did not add any Pokemon that aren't supposed to be there, except for maybe one that I transferred to all of my Pokemon games, just because I love that Pokemon dearly. It was my very first Pokemon, so <laughs> I made copies of him and sent him to all of my games. <laughs> Anyway, Jesus Christ, I hope Nintendo does not kill me for that one. Um, what am I doing? See, I don't think any of these are going to really do any damage to this. Shoot, not summary. Moves. Maybe Ice Fang, <laughs> if, if I'm not mistaken. You know what, let's just battle with Cujo. Because why not? Cujo deserves some more love, right? Right? I think he does. Anyway. Let's see. What else? I'm actually making scripts now, but it <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's hard to tell because it's not helping very much. I'm not looking at it as much as I am the game. But I do have two monitors, so it helps with knowing what to say and things like that. Oh, no! No, Cujo, no! At least he's not dying from all of this. If I had sent Oso Swell out there, jeez, can you imagine the damage? Ooh. 
Sounds awful. Oh yeah, another reason why I'm thinking more of type advantages and things like that at the moment is because I've been super obsessed with playing Pearl again, and as much as I should be playing this game, I'm more excited about getting off of this game to go play Pearl later, because I've been doing this same op episode over and over and over and over again and again and again because I'm just stuck on it. I can't get past this. I've been trying and trying and trying, recording over and over and over, and finally I figured out how to record different audio tracks for one file. So hopefully this will be the last time I do this. Otherwise I'm gonna have a problem and I'm probably gonna scream into a pillow or maybe my Squishmallow. Those are really nice, by the way. I don't know if you've had a Squishmallow, but they're super comfy. Like I got my friend into them in one night. They're so comfy. And speaking of friends being into things, my friend, I found out, is into doll customization. And guess what I've been super obsessed with lately? That's right. Doll customization. I'm sorry guys, if you guessed plushies, you're completely wrong. <laughs> Not completely, considering the Squishmallow thing, but just not as right as what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, I can't really do voices right now. My voice is... <laughs> my own voice is in really terrible shape, but um, basically what's his face here? Brandon? Brendan? Whatever his face is. Uh, <laughs> he... Oh, it's Brendan. That's in my script. <laughs> he wants to have a battle. Let's go, Brendan! Anyway. <laughs> Oof. Poor Brendan, I completely forgot his name there. Um, so, fun stuff. I'm not doing any voices. But he's got a shroomish. And we've got a fire type. So. Low key, I forgot the name of Blaze's Pokemon species <laughs> at the moment. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually don't remember. Torchic. Blaziken's the last one. And he is... <laughs> something. Hold up. Maybe it actually shows it in the summary. Otherwise, I'm <laughs> so sorry to him. Oof. It does not. Alright. Well, I don't I feel terrible. And I click that again. I'm not very smart sometimes when I'm not paying attention. At least I try. It's not very good though. It's a sad excuse of a try. Also, before you're saying, well, ground would have been useful against the um, electric type earlier. I don't have any ground moves that do any damage, so it wouldn't have helped. <laughs> because sand attack doesn't do damage. As much as I'd hope it would from the name sand attack really does not. <laughs> and I made that mistake several times in trying to make this episode, so as much as it hurts to admit that, I know my I learned my lesson. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Do you guys prefer me um, a blind let's play, as in me going into this without knowing anything about what's going on? Or would you prefer me going into this with knowing what's going on? and being prepared for all of it. Because, I mean, there are some random occurrences in video games that you won't expect. Like, this time it was Tommy... Timmy? Whatever his face was. <laughs> uh, the youngster that I fought. It's this time that was he. That was the surprise occurrence. I didn't expect that. And, um... I mean, there are some things that you can't control. Video games. Huh? Like I was saying... There are some things you can't control in video games, so I mean, doing a let's play where I know what's going on won't affect that aspect of it too much, since I will be- oh shoot, what did I do? Um, since I will be able to know what's going on at some point, er, at some points, and I won't know what's going on at every point. So it does help. At least, with commentary. 
But with a blind let's play, I guess it feels more like we're both playing it together for the first time. So I don't know if you guys prefer it either way. And I would really love it if you would tell me. <laughs> if you do watch this. Oh, Jesus. That was not a good decision. Whoops. <laughs> the poor baby. Alright. We're gonna do Mac it this time. Because, uh... Why not? No, not foresight. I don't like that move. <laughs> Only because it makes me upset. Oh wait, no, it's not foresight. I think it's detect. Right? Which one of them makes you protect yourself? After finding out what your opponent is going to do. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway. Good stuff, good stuff. Gonna use another force palm. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I'm also thinking about skipping most wild battles and some unimportant trainer battles if we get to have too many in an episode. If it's only one or two, like this episode, then I'm fine with leaving them in. It's just that sometimes it gets to be too much and I really feel like it takes away a lot of time. So, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to having to edit those out, but I do think it'll help out with the time that I'm taking up from your day, as well as my own. Well, maybe not my own, because I'm going to have to edit all of this, and that's going to take up even more time. But at least it'll make things shorter for you guys, and that's what matters to me, because you know what? Y'all are my life now. I love y'all. <laughs> Though I do have my own life away from you, and I hope you understand that. <laughs> That's the same way it is with my friends. <laughs> oh jeez, I love them so much. But I do need time away sometimes. Because, goodness knows, I can't deal with it otherwise. Um, you know what? That noise sounded a lot like that one game in, po in the Pokemon Emmy where they have the falling yarn balls and it falls. That's the sound that I'm thinking of. That's what that move sounds like. <laughs> and you, but the, wow, that was really off topic. <laughs> See, I'm not on my medicine today, so I'm really distracted and I'm not thinking straight. It's okay though. Um, I don't really mind so much. I hope you don't either. Um, let's see, the lack of art. In case you haven't noticed, the cover art was on the last episode. It's not there now. The, that's mainly because, um, well, what is it? Uh, my tablet, I can't plug it in right now because my USB hub actually died. And that's why I was plugging in all my things. But now I can only plug in much less than I used to. As in three USBs that I need for my computer and then one for my wireless adapter. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't plug in my tablet without losing maybe my mouse. Or, I mean, I guess I could um, unplug my controller. That'd be fine. But it's just really annoying. I don't want to do it because I'm really lazy. <laughs> and I'm sorry. That's the truth of it all. I'm just really lazy. I will actually be putting more into later episodes, but it's just that this one's been really painful throughout everything, and I've also got some other art things that I need to do this month, so, or rather in this upcoming month, October, and it's just going to be a real heck of a pain if I have to deal with everything all at once. What is this? Is this perhaps an electric? It's glowing. I like glowing stuff. It's very shiny. It's an it's a Voltorb. How did I not know that was a Voltorb? I think I've encountered this before. Combuskin, that's the name. Oh my god, I just remembered. I'm like, what else is there? I thought of Blaziken again, and then I realized I'm like, wait a minute, combustion, combuskin. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. I totally know how to f remember names. 
Please don't die. Oh, thank God. Thank the Lord that electricity is not weak to flying. Because now I can actually count catch this. I think the last time, whenever I encountered this, I would accidentally kill it as soon as I saw it. It was very unfortunate, and I really didn't like that at all. I ended up losing everything. I lost everything in the war! <laughs> oh, man. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and catch this. Yeah, use that Pokeball. Be cheap. That's fun. <laughs> no, being cheap didn't prevail. Lesson learned, guys. If you can go for the more expensive option, and it's not gonna hurt you so much, you should probably you probably should. Cause hey, in the end, if the result is better, why wouldn't you go for it? That's also a lesson with making recordings and such. I was going to record this on my phone's audio, uh, my phone's recorder. Like, you know that voice recorder that comes with a lot of phones. I was gonna use that for the commentary, and then. I realized maybe I should be using a headset with a microphone on it instead of being super cheap and lazy. So that's what I'm doing right now. Fun. Um. Oh, would you look at that? It's Voltorb. <laughs> super cute. No, I don't feel like giving any nicknames this time around. If I do give them nicknames later on in the game, I will let you guys know. Okay, I don't like dealing with that guy. He gives me a weird feeling. He sounds super nasally in my head, and it really creeps me out for whatever reason. Maybe because he sounds like one of those creepy dudes in all the shows <laughs> where it's like, ooh, he does some weird stuff. Ah! Also, that guy's a psychic. He has an Abra. And that Abra is quite annoying to deal with, so I don't want to deal with it. And I just encountered a, a Minon. You know what? Everything in this area, except for the Oddish, I'm pretty sure is electric. Because the only other thing I can think of that appears in this area, the only Pokemon that isn't electric is, Min is Oddish. Everything else here is. I feel like I repeated that over and over in one sentence, and I really could have just done that with a few details instead of a lot. Anyway, <laughs> my point is that everything is electric. It's electric! <laughs> Cue the song. <laughs> oh, I wish I could put that in there. But unfortunately, I don't own the rights to that, and I don't want to download music today. <laughs> Because downloading music is bad, kids. Learn from Sister KK. I don't know. Uh, Kitty? I don't even know what the heck you would call me if you didn't call me KK. I mean, I guess you could call me by na my name, but... I don't know how I feel about that on this channel. <laughs> I really don't. Anyway... What is it? I think at some point I said my name was Bate. So we're gonna go with that. My name's Bate. Hi there. <laughs> I mean, technically it is. If you look at my initials. So. <laughs> but it's not my actual name if you're looking at my first name or my middle name. It's just my initials. That's all it is. But it works better for things like online presence. <laughs> So, no, I'm not going to give them mine a nickname at this moment. I'll be making a separate episode for that if I ever do give them nicknames. Where I just nickname all the Pokemon I didn't nickname throughout the series. And you guys get to see all of them. And maybe you guys could give some suggestions. I don't know. I'll, I'm really happy to take them. Uh, those are Lucka Berries. I'm not into harvesting them right now. I'm super lazy. There's the end of the cycling road, by the way. And finally, we actually got to the next city, which is Maville City. Hopefully, hopefully this episode isn't as long as I think it is. But with that, um, I must say it is getting quite late and I have to say goodnight. Thank you so much for watching and if you're watching this during the day or early in the morning, I hope you have 
a really wonderful day today. If you're watching this at night just before bed, I hope you had a wonderful day today as well. Because you know what? You gotta spread that joy all around the world, even if you're not feeling happy yourself. You know, just be positive. Believe in yourself. And if things aren't so great right now, they'll get better. I promise. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe, or don't. That's your choice. I love you anyway. Um, and see you next time. Bye!